Hi, and welcome to Green Up Your Life, the eco-friendly challenge show with my three teams of eco-rangers. Let's find out a little bit about them. Kiki is cheeky, funny and very chatty. Daisy is sporty, funny and cheeky. I'm Daisy. I'm Kiki. And we're the best, the blue team. Ditch the car and walk. Let's hope it's a walk in the park for these girls. I'm very competitive. I'm funny and I'm a little bit annoying. It's not that hard to be green, but sometimes you can be a bit lazy and just forget. I'm athletic, uh, funny and sometimes annoying. I'm Zach, she stayed, and together we make the red team. Ooh, looks like I'll have to keep my eyes on these two. Aaron is really sporty. He loves just like playing about and running. Jacob is very kind, likes music a lot and mucks about a lot. My name's Jacob, his name's Aaron and together we are the yellow team. Yeah, but can these two stop laughing long enough to focus on the challenge? Today's challenge is for you to design your own eco-friendly room with an ensuite bathroom. To give you some ideas, you're going to meet someone who's converted his house into an eco-friendly low-carbon home. Morning, how are you? Welcome to my retro eco house. It's a very special house. I'll show you. Donica McCarthy house. will show you what he's done to his home. Listen out for any top tips. OK, it's a very green house, and the most important thing is this one. It's a wood burner. This burns wood, which actually heats the house, also heats the hot water for washing the dishes and cleaning up at, at night time. This is a display panel that shows how much electricity my house is producing. And just if you keep your eye on that panel, I'm going to turn on the kettle, and I'm going to start buying electricity from the National Grid. So you can see the huge amount of electricity the kettle actually uses. It's equivalent of 1,500 electric toothbrushes. Wow. OK, now we're going to show you the eco stuff in the bathroom, which is full of really amazing things. Come on in. The hot water is heated by the sun, which is kind of fun. My toothbrush, I don't throw away the toothbrush handle. I only throw away the head of the handle. So I say, if we everybody did this, we'd say 56 million toothbrush handles a year. There's a tank on the roof, and the rainwater goes into that, comes down here, and fills the loo automatically. And let's go and look at the outside of the house. OK, up at the top, you'll see the wind turbine. Blowing nicely today. But it doesn't produce a huge amount of electricity, I have to say. But the wood beside it, the solar electric panels, you see, yeah. that's what produces most electricity for the house. You can see the, the funny glass on the kitchen roof? Yeah. That produces the hot water for the house. There's a solar hot water panel. OK, teams, you've seen how it can be done, and now you have 45 minutes to design your own eco room. The most imaginative and eco friendly room will win. Like that thing, like Is it the most ecological one? I'll just try and make it look good and cool. Oh, the yellow team seems to have forgotten the challenge already. And Daisy's in need of inspiration. It's a massive ensuite bathroom. A kid would just dream to have a bathroom like this. No, because we can do it the second floor and that. The second room. I can't spell no more. Um, oh! Instead of a light bulb everywhere, like. The others are maybe struggling, but the That's blue team in. The paint was gone. Um, all the paint was organic, wasn't it? Organic paint, yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. It's very, very oh. nice. Good. We should have left the carpet how it was. I know. A little bit. <laughs> Colour. See that pencil? It's flattened. I never said being green was easy. Come on, guys. Your time's nearly up. Five. Four, three, two, one, and time's up. Put your pencils down. <laughs> right, my eco rangers, how did you find it? The time's just gone bad because our colouring just marked up the whole pitch. Right. So I wish I could be that green, and I don't. Okay. Because, like, you can't have that PS2s and stuff because it's energy and. But the good thing is it saves you a lot of money. Our eco homeowner Donica will now announce the winner based on the most imaginatively designed eco room. The winner was... It was the blue team. Yes! There you go. But we're, we're both really, really happy about win winning this challenge. So think about what you can do to make your home greener. Join us next time on Green Up Your Life. <laughs>